Maybe the allergies are causing you to suffer a little bit. Here's the reason why. Got the report in from Dr. Donald Pulver in Rochester. Still looking at moderate levels of tree pollen. It really hasn't changed much as of late as the season. Up next, we'll start to see that grass starting to grow and eventually grass pollen going on up. So here's Fossil Service Experts Live Triple Doppler Radar. Told you yesterday we're going to get brushed with a system to our southwest. And boy, it's raining. It's raw. It's ugly in western New York. Some spots in the 30s here. At least it's raining, though not snowing, but a pretty miserable start to the evening out that way. These showers could come as close as Wayne County, Southern Cayuga, Cortland, and Southern Shenango County. The bulk of the rain is going to be down here towards Southern Ontario, Yates, Schuyler, Southern sections of Tompkins County. Actually, the sun's out as you go to our north and northeast. So we're just on the border with the cloud cover here in Syracuse and likely staying dry. That system moves away. Looking ahead, we got this drier air, the clearing that'll take place as we go through the late night hours. There's that batch of 30s where it's raining in western New York. We've got 51. Now there's a warm front lying back here separating our coolish air from summertime warmth in St. Louis. How about that? 85. Nowhere near that coming in our forecast, but we will see a change. In fact, with the clearing sky tonight, there's going to be some frost around tomorrow morning. Otherwise, a pleasant afternoon. Thursday, we have that front coming through in the morning. It's a warm front. Overnight Wednesday night, some periods of rain, maybe a thunderstorm. Then a few showers scattered around early on Thursday. Then it's mostly dry into the upper 60s. And then for Friday, warm. We're in the lower 70s. But in the mid to late afternoon, some showers, thunderstorms, maybe some heavy rain starts to develop. So at 11 o'clock this evening, that threat for showers to our southwest of Onondaga County, clear to the north, and that pulls away. So tomorrow morning could be some patchy fog where it rained, west and south of Syracuse. But for the most part, we're looking at some sunshine. That fog burns off. Nice midday. There'll be much less breeze. Breeze tomorrow, upper 50s, seasonable temperature there. Then for tomorrow night, not as cold. We'll see some clouds and then eventually a period of rain or two, maybe a thunderstorm with that. That's the warm front that lifts to the north on Thursday. So your forecast for tonight, evening light showers to our southwest, otherwise clearing frosty cold with patchy valley fog, low temperature down to 33. Plenty of bright sunshine tomorrow before the clouds increase late day with seasonable afternoon high of 59. Now look at those readings getting really warm for several days here. 60 behind the warm front on Thursday with a few showers early. Still can't rule out an isolated shower, but it's mostly dry with some partial sunshine and maybe an isolated shower Friday, but mid to late afternoon showers and thunderstorms roll on in. Showers gradually taper Saturday 68. A few showers and thunderstorms pass through on Easter Sunday, especially in the morning 60, but we go right back up temperature wise early next week. A live view over Syracuse.